Hi, welcome to Anju Risa channel. I'm Trisa and you can call me Risa. And today we are going to make this beautiful hair bow with tails. And you can see, I think this is kind of unique. The front bow is round and the, the second layers is just like a usual hair bow. And look at the tails. It has a perfect curvy line here. Stay tuned. Before we sew the hair bow, I will show you how I draw the template. So I have a paper here, it's about 16 centimeters, about 6 and almost a half inches, and 8 centimeters. It's about 3.2 inches. So I will fold the paper in half, fold it, I guess it's like this, fold it in half first, and then up. And I will measure the half of the width. It's about one and a half inches or four centimeters. I want to draw a circle shape here, so I will measure four centimeters. You can see it's a perfect circle shape from here to here. And just cut it out. Now you get a perfect circle size here. We will use this for the bow. And now I'm going to draw the tails pattern. And I have a paper with the size 14 centimeters, about 5.5 inches, and 7 centimeters, about almost 3 inches. I'm sorry if I always use centimeters measurement. So I will fold this down. To 45 degree and I will draw a curvy shape from here from here to here just draw a curvy shape about like this and cut it out now this is for the tails next prepare the fabric this fabric size is about twice the size of this pattern. Fold it and we are going to draw the patterns right here. I'm using a water erasable marking pen and this pen is very very convenient. It's disappear once we draw it, once we wash it with water. So, so if I draw it like this and just use some water to make it disappear. It's a really convenient. So I will use this to draw the pattern. Remember to mark the center of this because we are going to sew this part and we will leave an opening right here. Take the other fabric. This is for the bow, the second layer of the bow and Fold the fabric in half and sew this part. Remember to leave an opening right in the center to turn the fabric right side up. And the last piece of fabric is for the tails. So I will always write the size below here and fold the fabric in half. I think it's the right side. Even plain fabric, they have the right side and the wrong side. With the right sides together, fold it in half. And just the pattern that we made, I will draw the pattern right here to make the beautiful tail shape. Okay, I'm going to sew all along the fabric with this pattern. And remember, always remember to leave an opening right in the center to flip the fabric right side out. And for the last piece of fabric, for the center piece, I will fold the fabric in half and sew this part. I will start sewing from the mark to leave the opening to start sewing from here. If you ever feel it's very difficult to sew a curvy line, you can lift you can let the needle down and lift up the presser foot and just adjust the fabric. So 
these are all the fabrics always leave an opening right in the center to turn the fabric so I will cut this according to the shape when we are sewing a curvy line remember to clip the curvy part and don't cut the sewing thread be careful for the corner I will cut it like this this is to make the fabric less bulky and it gets a nice shape the same thing here this is a little curvy line so I just cut it and clip around the curvy part now turn all fabrics inside out turning from the opening to make it easy you can use something pointy like pencil pen and this is a paintbrush to push every corner of our bow next is to press the fabric I have said this in almost my every sewing project that it's really important to press our fabric next I will mark the center of the bow this is to make the bow have the perfect size on the left side and the right side I always do this trick to make a hair bow fold the fabric in half take the ruler slide it to the center and we can draw it the center part now we are going to adjust the bow I will adjust these two pieces about one or two centimeter is fine I think I will only use one and a half take the sewing pin pin it together and sew this part If we leave an opening right in the center, we can close it right away when we attach the bow. And now prepare the sewing needle and sewing thread. I will sew the tails first. Gather the fabric, tie it, and secure the thread. you can see the shape now attach the hair tie or hair clip I think I will use hair clip for this bow because of the beautiful tails and I prefer a hair clip for this kind of hair bow so attach the hair clip using hot glue gun of course and I'm going to attach the centerpiece I like to fold it just make a some crease right in the center bow like this wrap around the bow and sew this part cut the excess fabric and flip the center piece I really like this crease and to make the centerpiece stays in place just add some glue right here so the centerpiece will always stays in place and our beautiful hair bow is finished thanks for watching this video if you find this tutorial useful please give me a thumbs up and share this video if you don't please hit the dislike button and tell me about what you don't like see you in my next video bye